Health ahead of the information race. Ikeja Electric and you kicking off right now, and it's all about you and me having the right knowledge on how best to make use of electricity. Courtesy of uh, this distribution company. The program comes to you Mondays from 9:15 through 10 o'clock, and we are set. You're welcome. My name is Victor Oteri. <laughs> Last week, we began the conversation on how best to make use of uh, electricity contractors, we call them, especially if you're moving in into a new apartment. It was an eye-opening experience, and today we just touch a bit on that and then reflect on some other things that you need to know as we seek to bridge the knowledge gap for consumers under Ikeja Electric. These are many more be part of the menu if you can keep us company from now through 10 o'clock. But first, let's have a word from our partners, and when we return, we will start the conversation. We'll hear from you and give you more updates as well. My brother, what is the problem with these Nepa people? They have disconnected my light again. Uh, there's nothing like Nepa again. It's a Keja Electric. Uh, then, uh, did you connect illegally? Um, um, I, I only called one electrician nearby to connect it for me. What? You and that electrician are joking with 21 years imprisonment. It's illegal to connect or reconnect yourself or carry out any form of activity on a Keja Electric network. Doing so will not only cause damage, it can lead to electric shock and electrocution. 21 years imprisonment, electrocution, God forbid. Please, I'm going to contact a Keja Electric right now for proper connection to stay alive peacefully with my family. If you want to connect or reconnect light, kindly contact Ikeja Electric's nearest office to you and also report any energy theft you notice around you through Ikeja Electric's customer care numbers 01 488 3900, 01 7000 and 0700 or send an email to customer care at Ikeja Electric.com. Ikeja Electric, bringing energy to life. Hey, have you heard the good news about Ikeja Electric? What is new this time? Ikeja Electric has made payment of electricity bills a lot easier through multiple payment channels accessible anywhere, anytime. You can pay using bank mobile apps and websites, Ikeja Electric website, and through their payment agents as well. The payment channels are convenient, reliable, and secure. Fantastic! Please pay your bill to avoid disconnection and ensure you collect or print your receipt as evidence of payment. Do not give cash to any Ikeja Electric staff for bill settlement, reconnection fee, meter bypass, or any of the surcharges. For more information, visit www.ikejaelectric.com. You can also contact customer care on 01-700-250 and 01-272-940. Or send an email to customer care at ikejaelectric.com. Ikeja Electric, bringing energy to life. Lagos Traffic Radio, 96.1 FM, Victoria Island Corridor, very busy vehicle movement, been experienced from McQuay Bridge, connecting Bonnie Camp, and this is due to some high influx, and uh, lots of vehicles making use of that corridor. Akmad Bello is good, while slight delays has been experienced approaching the mobile field station. All right, Adito Kumbo, Adimola, in what I just say, Adiogun, slightly busy at the moment, while you have some slowdowns, uh, traffic-wise, Heading towards a cool hotel roundabout. Uh, this is uh, just uh, due to alternation. I just say I do go legally. I only day uh, all that axis approaching Oniru, heading towards uh, waterfront is uh, also a bit busy there. No major worries and uh, nothing unusual as you drive through that location. And of course, uh, beyond that point, uh, we can tell you things are getting a bit uh, better. All right, smooth drive being experienced. While well, uh, the return journey is uh, gathering momentum at the moment, all right? Sanusi, Fafuwa heading towards Akiadishola, very encouraging as we speak. And then from there, inwards, uh, law school, moving traffic being experienced, law school connecting civic center uh, is uh, also looking good. The school corner connecting Sunfield and the toll plaza, all those areas still looking good. Okay, then, so we'll be serving you more L paints, but there's a flash update from the Kurudu end. The broken down 40 foot loaded trailer at a Greek has been moved to one side of the road, uh, so it's getting much better now. Backlog is presently advancing, so you need to watch out for that as you drive through that end. 
Okay, Ikeja Electric and you, let's begin the conversation. Joining me in the studio this morning, I have Halima Shuaibu. She's external communications coordinator for Ikeja Electric. Halima, how are you doing? Oh, very well, thank you, Victor. Good morning, and good morning to um, our listeners. Seven days gone by. How are things faring with Ikeja Electric? So far, so good. Um, of course, naturally, we've got, um, you know, complaints here and there but then again we're dealing with them as they come and we encourage our customers of course to to bring them on right and in terms of electricity supply what does it look like oh beautiful so um a lot of people um who are on uh, the, var the various bands are getting what they should those who are aren't getting are of course um, encouraged to you know reach out and if you have local fault if you have transformer issues if you have cable issues jmp whatever it is uh, that you're experiencing that is not making you get uh, whatever is due to you, we encourage you to, of course, escalate. Aside from that, Victor, everything is looking good. Okay, that sounds pretty nice. Last week, we, you know, delved into an area which was uh, of good revelation to lots of people. Uh, we had, uh, you know, that conversation with uh, LECAN, which is the legal electricity... License... Uh, li license electrical, electrical contractors. Contractors, okay. yes. So... I just wanted to touch a bit on that before we move on to other levels. Why is it necessary for me to get a licensed electrical contractor? Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Victor. So, like we very well know, uh, LECAN, which is uh, the Licensed Electrical Contractors of Nigeria, is the body in charge of uh, ensuring that the standards in terms of electrical installations in houses, homes, offices, uh, that these standards are met. Uh, one of the, let me just, uh, by way of, you know, oh, recap, recap, yes, uh, let me just give about five things that they do and what they stand for and why customers need to engage them. Uh, one is that they ensure that there is a quality assurance and that uh, standards are being complied with. So whether the point of building the house mm -hmm. or even at the point of registering to uh, to open a new account you need them so okay. if you if you are a developer a realtor or just somebody who is building a new uh, house or an office space you need, you need to engage them to, to ensure that whatever it is that you're using what, what the cables are using everything is um, uh, meeting uh, the required standard they are the ones who are uh, uh, who have the license to ascertain that all of these things are are done and of course when these uh, standards are not met uh, usually people can run into trouble safety issues uh, fire outbreak resulting from electric electrical uh, installation and that's why we encourage our customers to use them okay. another thing is um, they also ensure that you know from time to time because when we engage our customers we have had customers who say that okay maybe there's a surge um, as a result of uh, maybe th there's, there's a pass or the, the power has just been restored and mm -hmm. there's a surge right. or um, it's raining and they're having issues of electrocution in their houses. Right. These are the areas that they can also, um, their coming. intervention, yes, could help avert. So uh, when people do not do proper eating, of which uh, a Lican is certified uh, electric, uh, electrical practitioner would advise at the inception, okay, all of this would have, would have been taken care of, and then you, of course, will not encounter this. And that's why we don't encourage people to uh, engage the services of quacks. And so we want you to um, liaise with these people who would help you ensure that uh, safety and standards, standards are, of course, are being complied with. And you said you have a very robust partnership with them. Oh, every time. And as a matter of fact, we usually have a uh, different kind of engagement. Last month, for instance, at the virtual um, stakeholders engagement, uh, Engineer Bada, who was here last week in the studios, Victor, was also on that program to help enlighten our customers on the need for them to take safety from the inception seriously when i mean inception i'm talking about at the point of building and even at the point of opening uh, a new account mm -hmm. yeah so so this is very uh, important and the whole essence of this um you know partnership with lecan is for the customer's protection okay. yeah because by, by promoting qualified professionals and high standards of work lecan helps protect customers from substandard electrical installation and services mm -hmm. yeah so it is only when you work with a professional that you, you ensure that you, your house is being protected and, of course, uh, you're less likely to have incidents of, of fire outbreak resulting from uh, an electrical, um, uh, you know, installation. So is it for only new apartments that will need the service of LECAN? No. I mean, for existing structures and within the localities, don't, don't we need LECAN to also help out with any 
electrical insulation okay so yes you need them so some people just even prefer to work with professionals they don't just want to call anybody they want to be sure that the person has a seal the person has been certified so the answer is no it's not only at the point of building a new apartment also even customers who are who intend to open up uh, new accounts mm. okay you need them to go to that place and certify that your wiring is okay so it's at that point also you you need them so if you recall Jabada said last week that they're just like the door between the customer and the disco so right. you need to pass through them to get to us we also need to ensure that whatever it is that we're doing for you has been certified by a licensed electrical contract all right so let me give a clinical scenario so in my compound or perhaps uh someone is living within the compound on a saturday evening the meter trips off right mm. so if i go ahead and get a mechan um uh, practitioner i mean somebody who satisfy a licensed mm. contractor mm. Uh, will I be infringing on the law, or is it right? Okay, so at that point, you no longer need um, uh, a licensed electrical contractor to help you. All you need to do is to escalate the KJ Electric directly. So if you have a problem with your meter, you escalate, okay? So if you're, you know, there are times that um, supply is available, but you're not getting supply into yeah, your apartment, yeah. yes, even though your meter is showing red light or green light. So what we are advise you to do is to escalate. And you can do this easily from the comfort of your home by just sending an email. If it's a weekend, for example, and you don't want to go to the office, you just send an email to customer. Electric.com, put all the necessary information, landmark, phone number, address, account number, or uh, meter number in this case, okay, so that you can get help. Would I get our help that evening? You might not get that help that evening, but then again, uh, you, you quickly get a response and then an SR number will be generated. Remember that at the point of escalating, you probably will not get an SR number immediately. So by the time uh, someone is attending to that complaint, a service request number is being generated. And of course, at that point, resolution has commenced because it's at that time that uh, your your service request number will be on the dashboard of whoever it is that is supposed to come and clear that fault or come and inspect it as the case may be. Mm -hmm. So so it might not be immediate, like I said, but then the process would have commenced. All right. So for those of you who missed it last week, uh, of course, uh, Bada did uh, drop his number. And uh, he did talk about the fact that if you are one, you feel probably be practicing, but you're not licensed, you're not licensed yet, you can always get in touch with them. And then they will to you know take you through that and it gives some number. I'll just give that number right away. Zero eight zero two three two nine zero three zero four. Okay. That's zero eight zero two three two nine zero three zero four. And then you'll be connecting with uh LECAN. That's uh, the licensed electrical contractors association of Nigeria. He's in charge of the legal state uh, chapter, all right? Yes, that's correct. And I hear it's a nationwide body. Body, absolutely. Uh, okay. So let's drift on to some other issues right now because what we're trying to do this morning on the program is to look for best ways of breaching the knowledge gap for consumers. Now, if I have a fault, I'll just raise that question. If I have uh, something that is not properly done within my consumption unit in my street or perhaps uh, in my estate, what are the steps? What are the many steps that one can take? For quick resolution okay if you have a fault on your street right mm. okay so uh of course we always advise that you go through the customer care there are people whose job it is to come and inspect and of course clear the kind of fault whatever it is that you have so the first step is to either go into any of our offices the closest one to you you can go to any of our franchise offices closest to you if you don't have a major one or go to the business unit if you like or you can send an email to customer care at ikejaelectric.com. You can also go on social media. If you go to X, which is formerly known as Twitter, um, our handle for complaints, because we have two handles on X, but the one for complaint is ieserve, at ieserve, okay. I-E and serve, S-E-R-V-E. So you go there and drop your complaints. You can also do same on Facebook at Ikeja Electric, 
on Instagram at Ikeja Electric. But we always advise that people put in all the information uh, that would be required to resolve that complaint in one message. So, and uh, we, we emphasize this in all of our engagement. So, if you if you are calling, if it's Victor or Terry calling from Ogba, you are right, Victor or Terry calling from Ogba, uh, this um, Tipa bus stop mm. close to this thing. Name of my street is. Abimbola number 29, Abimbola Street. You know, put all the details that we need. Then put your, if you're a metered customer, put it there. If you're um, a postpaid customer, put the account number and your phone number in one message. Let's talk about transformers because these are major problems a lot of times. So, yes. a transformer is faulty. Or the transformers, transformers serving this particular street or this locality is, um, is giving problems. What do we do and how quick? Can one get either a replacement or probably it's going to be fixed? What are the things that one should do? Okay, so in terms of um, when a, a, a transformer has been, you know, um, identified as, as faulty, you know, you know, it has to be from a professional, not the community people saying that. There are times that we hear people say their transformer is overloaded. Mm. They think that um, it's, a, it's, an overload, it's a problem of overload okay it's only our people a certified um, engineer from Ikeja Electric that can tell you that now so having done that and we, you know that your transformer is faulty of course is to escalate okay we always say that you must pass through the customer care um, to lodge a complaint and it is not yet a complaint until you have gotten a service request number so that's the first stage so you would raise a complaint and say that okay this has happened in my community and we need your people to intervene as for how long it will take that for now i can't give a, um, a timeline because um situations vary there are communities that you have uh, predominantly metered customers the communities that you have ban a customers that are communities that you have a mix of you know uh prepaid postpaid and all of that there, there are communities that you have issues of um, non-payment of electricity bills, so many things. So all of these things will be will be treated on their own uh, right. peculiar exactly. So so uh, we would advise people to go through, of course, the customer care, and then the process will commence. But then again, uh, you know, people from different communities are asking for this infrastructure. And okay. okay, so it means like uh, you're competing with other communities. So sometimes uh, it may take some time because you know. Others have already lodged their complaints before yours, and we're taking them as they come. And so that's why sometimes some customers experience some delay, and they go as far as saying, you know what, uh, we can't wait, and then they resort to self-help. I've seen communities who have said, you know what, they can't wait, and then they want to go ahead. And you know, So self-help means what? They, they want to buy another one? Yes, they want, want to contribute to buy a transformer. So who owns a transformer? Is it? So, so normally, it, the, the, the transformer belongs to the Kenya Electric, and that's why we tell consumers to... Please be patient with us and pass through the process. It might be painful, it might take some time, but definitely Kedja Electric will replace your transformer. Yes, that's the procedure. So you belong to not the community? No, it, no, no, no. Because, you know, what, what the assets, all of those assets is being maintained by Ikeja Electric and not the community. So if a community or a politician decides to be uh, generous or magnanimous to... Um, to provide this? Yes, so... You, you would say you're donating it because it's just uh, just like a goodwill uh, or a CSR or whatever you want to call it to the community. Yes. Okay. So it can be done in, in that light. Absolutely. But uh, the overall goal is that it belongs to Ikeja Electric. That's correct. Nobody can claim ownership of it. Uh, what about the meters? Who owns the meter? Okay. So for meter ownership, firstly, you need to know that... Uh, meters like we always say even on this program that meters are not movable okay so you have paid for the meter and regulation has also said that even though you have paid uh in due course you will be refunded in form of energy token okay so it means that uh, and that's why we say it's not movable and if you look at the idea behind um the fact that you can transfer it or take it elsewhere is actually to protect the customer ultimately because i mean if meters were movable it means that you victor you can't sleep it in your in your, in your house with your eyes closed uh -huh. but now it doesn't matter because even if you own two properties on the same street you can't take from um house a to house b even though you paid for it okay right. just, just just to protect you and to ensure that uh, of course there's sanity so and also, also identified to each building yes yes and then mapped to that building mapped to that transformer you can't take it away from can't transformers be moved 
No, why would you have to move the transformer? <laughs> There's no need for that. For adventure, uh, 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 maybe it's going to be taken for one location to another. But let's take this call. Hello there, good morning. Good morning, sir. All right, My name is Benga Omole. Benga Omole, where are you calling from? Yeah. I'm calling from Marimosho, Sitahi, area one. All right, Marimosho. Go ahead, Benga Omole. I'm oh, sorry, I'm having a problem with my um, PC data. Um, seems like um, a month now. The whole building is three um, PC data has entered uh, Tampa. Okay. And I don't know, I've heard the complaint that I'm giving me what we call SR code. SR code. They have given me the SR code. And they said that, we to, that I need to come down to that place again. Okay. What is that? Which of the offices did you go to, sir? That is, um, what we call that is better side. Okay. Okay. The, the, your, ta your meter type, sir. What meter type are you using, sir? Um, I mean, that's more one. The one that you are using now. Okay. The uh, Mojek meter, right? Oh. Okay. Can you go to the. What we call. Call, 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 Okay, okay. Yes. So you, you said you went to the one at Conley, which one did you go to? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. The office in Conley. Okay. I generate, um, yes, sir. SR code there. Okay, yes. so you, you have the SR here, sir? Yes, I have the SR. Okay, just, just call it out for me. Thank you. Hold on, hold on now, hold on now. Okay, we'll hold on for you. Bring out Molly as we seek to solve. What do you say, sir? No, we're holding on for you. Just go, go ahead. All right, all, all right, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, Lagos Traffic Radio, let us see. I want to call the SR code. Yes, just look for it. Look for it and you can call it. Okay, so you said the SR code is 51. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Seven nine. All right, sir. Seven. Okay. So five one five two seven nine seven. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. I'll send you a reminder on your behalf, sir. All right. No problem. Sir. All right. Thank you for your patience, yes, Mr. 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 Kinga. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I'm almost going to the office now. Okay, I'll call you. Yes. Yeah, you can see good there as well. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Gwinka uh, or Molly, for sending that one in. So we have people that have this kind of issue. So you see now that anytime you have any issue, the first thing is to lodge a complaint. And once you can, you, once you get the SR, you can use that to pursue the case. Yes. Another way that um, Mr. Gwinka can go about it is also to quote this SR number in an email. Okay. You can say, for example, he can't go there physically this morning. Mm -hmm. He can quote it in an email and ask them to, to like a follow-up ask them to give him an update on it tell him tell him when um our people are coming to his premises and all of that information he will get a reply from customer care all right all right then legal traffic radio that's 6.1 good morning sir good morning yes sir my name is good morning good morning go ahead good morning sir my name is Yumika. yes i have an issue with my mr 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 then, uh, when they install the meter, then they got, so they didn't, they didn't install it for almost uh, two, two months, they didn't connect it to the code. So the next thing we saw was, they got, they got, they got, they got a bill of 200 plus. Hmm. So we just uh, we told them, we got, we have a we have written to them, keep on copying, up to now, no response. And we didn't use the meter. Okay. All right, so you got a bill of 200,000, even though the meter... Um, has not been energized. Okay, it has not been connected. So, uh, Mr. Oluwa, you make a. May I know where you're calling from, sir? I'm calling from Oluwa. Okay. In Akilok. 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 Okay. So, so that that would be strange if the meters have been brought and not connected. That's an anomaly. So. Mm. Okay, do, do, do you have the SR number? Because I would like to find out what has happened. This is strange. You cannot have them bring the meters and not connect you. Did you ask them why? Okay, sir. Can I, I want to find out some things. I need you to answer. Uh, please, when the meters were brought, may I know why they said they didn't connect it? Because that would be strange. Because the meters brought them, they didn't connect them. We didn't ask them. 
Did you, did you, have you done your connection on your own part? Because remember that the customer has the role to play. Did they, when they came in, did they meet you? Who did they call? Were you the contact person? Yes. Okay, so you can you can share your you can share your your what you would do uh, if you don't have the SR number now on this call. Please send an email, quote that SR number, okay? Quote the SR number in the, on in that email and then ask them for an update and tell them that um, you are also asking uh, for this the two hundred thousand naira bill you you received to be reviewed. They, there has to be so that you can get an explanation as to how they arrived at two hundred thousand. But we're going to allow complaining. We're not using the internet. We're not using anything now. No, you don't have to go to an answer, sir. So what I'm saying is that even in Ogba, you can go to the business unit. Okay, you can go to the business unit. Or if you're not, um, if you're busy this morning, just do an email. Quote the SR that you already have in it, so that you can to customer care at ikejaelectric dot com. My apologies, customer care at ikejaelectric dot com. All right, quote this SR that you already have, and then you can also even do a separate complaint uh, as per the 200,000 naira that you've got because you said you were not connected within that period. Yes. Okay. You can do a separate okay. complaint uh, as per that. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so that's what the program is all about. Okay. Kaja Electric and you is trying to help you also resolve any outstanding issues that you have. And that's what we are doing this morning so that you can have a better grasp of how things are working out. All right. As you have with me in the studios, Halima Shwaibu, and we are taking you through some of the nitty gritties, some of the things that you need to know as an EKJ electric consumer. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, then. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, how are you, sir? Very good. Sorry on the line. Uh, for lovely. How are you doing, sir? I'm all right. This is Victor. Yeah, how was the weekend? Good. You're coming from Ikeja. Uh, yes, yeah, from Ikeja. I'm presently at Ikeja. All right. Good. Um, good morning, Ali Mashwa. Good morning. You spoke well. We're, we're happy hearing your voice. Mm. That's nice. So, uh, I have I have few questions. Number one, it has to do with um, what is it called transformer, which is we have been battling with for some time in my community. Okay. I mean, for the past two years, we've been on it. So, we've been on it. So, what we tend to do, we've been to Ikeja Electric severally, we lodge a complaint, they came and inspect, and after their findings, they realized that it's been overloaded. And they said, I think, that we need, initially, they were saying that uh, we need to, you know, can uh, use the like, for what the uh, appraiser, one of the appraisers, something like that. Okay. We have to use it for other and to spread it and other. They did all that. At the end of the day, they realized that the customer is being overloaded, people tripping into the community in the last few years. So now, how do we go about it? We do we not have anything in waiting with so many things we have done. So okay. that is on one side. The number two, for meter, we have an apartment that we wanted to get a meter for. I was told that the portal is not open for EKJ Electric. So I don't know how to use that, and I don't know when it's going to be opened. Okay. So those are my two questions. Okay. Thank uh, you. Uh, thank you. I just listen thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Right, thank you. Okay, oh. as per the transformer, you said the transformer has been uh, said to be overloaded, right. mm. and I'm, I'm sure they propose to the community that they, they might have to lose them. So some people will be on at some times, and others will be out and then like that. So maybe a day like two days on, one day off, or um, as whatever the, the um, schedule is. Like it's not possible to get a, a relief, uh, a, a kind of um, transformer with higher capacity. Okay, or uh, break the load by bringing in another one. Yes. So it could be uh, upgraded by getting a higher capacity or, you know, get, getting a relief transformer such that the load is broken into, you know, you put some people here, you put others on the, okay. on the relief. Okay. okay, so usually we, we already have a schedule for those ones that need to be relieved. Too. So um, it, it might take some time, um, Mr. Fonabi, but then again, be sure that we have a list of those ones that need to be relieved that's as part transformer but what i didn't have the opportunity to ask is whether you are on as at now mm. whether you are still 
you are load shedding or you are out totally that i didn't get okay. um yeah, but if it's for a relief you're definitely going to get a relief but i cannot put a timeline to that uh also but you can do a follow-up with the uh, technical person the person we refer to as the uh operation the omc Okay. Operation maintenance um, coordinator. Okay, you can you can you can do that so that you can get an update as per. Okay, have an idea of when there could be a relief. Okay? That's the person that they're liaising with already. Yes. Well, I don't know if they're already doing that, but I'm sure they must know that person because since they've had this problem, they must be speaking to the technical person in that location. Mm. Then uh, to the second question, which is whether the, whether yes the portal is. So that information is correct. Uh, it is on hold, uh, and that as soon as uh, that is open, we're going to announce. Please bear with us. Uh, you know there has been um, issues, of course. Victory recall uh, as per uh, forex and the, the, the exactly, the exactly of the not being stable, and of course the people who are the maps, which are the meta asset providers, want to have some kind of stability, and of course be able to sell at a profitable rate. So all of that um, is putting that on hold for now. So but as soon as it's up. We're going to announce and let our customers begin to um, apply. All right, let's begin to run this up this uh, morning because uh, there are lots and lots to attend to. Um, most of you are really, really, you know, connecting with us. I've got some questions here. Let me see if I can run through them. This one says, uh, a pleasant morning, Victor. I have a building uh, at Iwelepe at uh, Unity Close over four months. We have complained that uh, we are unable to recharge on new Demeter and we reported to, uh, what do you call this now? We call it to LHC uh, Ikeja, electricity uh, office, okay? And they said they promised to get it resolved till date. Nothing has been done. Demeter was just installed in October 2023. All right, so that's another issue. Yeah. Elekwe, Elekwe in that's uh, the inner the inner part of Ikodu, right? I want to believe. Yeah. Yes, that's where because Elekwe is. It doesn't sound too familiar. So. Yes. So as okay, we can ask questions, but I want to believe that the, this customer has complained. This customer has gone uh, has got an SL number, but the, the customer is entitled to do do a follow up and then find out. We'll try and get to uh, his number so okay. that uh, you can also follow. Do a follow up and then. Uh, find out how or what they are doing. Let, let's see how we can run this up right now. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so what's your message and uh, what should people do okay. when they have issues? Okay, so uh, our customer care um, lines and um, unit is open every time. We want our, cus our customers to take advantage of it. Uh, we don't want a situation whereby you call a friend that works with the Keja Electric and say you have lodged a complaint. You haven't done that until uh, a service request number has been generated and that's why you can call um, 0201 I'll take that again 0201 okay and then you can call 0201 um, 448-3900 or you can send an email to Customer care at ikejaelectric.com. All right. Or you go to our social media platforms that are really about. We'll leave it at that, that for now. Halima Shai, we're always a ton of joy to have you in the studios. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. All right. Ikeja Electric and you comes up every Mondays from 9.15 through 10 o'clock. And of course, you can watch this again on our YouTube channel. All right. That's uh, Traffic Radio 961. Mike James has produced the program. I say a big thank you to Deborah Bully Dioku, who is our social media. Uh, she's a procedural media unit. Uh, I'm sure care as well. Our executive producer is Tyra Conley. My name is Victor Terry. Have a great day. Bye.